Let me tell you a story. One that is a soup made with the 26 letters, with the right amount of consonants and vowels as per taste and, of course, requirement. So, we begin the same way we always do. Once upon a time, amongst other old women, there was one who was very, very cheerful. And although she had very little to make her happy, she knew that life is a journey that one makes either with a smile or a frown on their face. She chose the former. Hello, Priscilla, my dear. How is the morning treating you? Why, I am all over the place trying to manage the house. Now, now, dear, don't get so worked up. Tell me if I can help you. <sighs> Aren't you the best? Yes, the happy old woman earned a living by running errands for her neighbors. In return, she'd get a meal or a bowl of soup or sometimes a penny or two. Life was good and the old woman never saw or found a reason to complain. But you might ask what is so interesting about her life or the story, right? Well, here's where it gets interesting. Very, very interesting. Ah, winter is coming. I need to gather woods for me, self to keep myself warm. That day, the old woman set out into the woods with a bounce in her step and a sweet tune in her mouth. La, 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 la. <laughs> Suddenly, she came upon a ditch, and inside it, she saw a big brown pot lying. Goody, goody, me goodness me! Now who could have left it in the ditch? Where is the owner of this? The old woman waited, looked about around her, expecting the owner to show up, but no one did. Maybe it has been cast away. Well, one man's trash is another one's treasure. This pot would do fine to put a flower in from my window. Goody, goody, me goodness me. If it isn't full of gold pieces, here's luck. I feel rich, awful rich. I feel rich, awful rich, 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 awful rich. The old woman tried to lift the pot, but it was too heavy for her. After much thinking, she saw no better way than to drag it behind her like a go-kart. will never know. I will drop them each a piece of gold secretly so that they are happy too. I'll buy a grand house then just sit by the fire with a cup of tea and do no work at all like a queen. Oh, how lovely it will be to sit by the fire on a chair and have my tea. I have always wanted a chair for myself. Goody, goody, me goodness me, I am rich. By this time, she was a bit tired of dragging such a heavy weight and stopped to rest for a while, turned to look at her treasure. And lo, it wasn't a pot of gold at all. It was nothing but a lump of silver. What? Oh, how silly of me. All this while I was thinking that it was a pot of gold. I must have been dreaming, but this is luck too. Silver is far less trouble, easier to keep, and doesn't attract attention. Maybe my house would be as grand, but I can still sit on my chair by the fireplace and have my tea. So she went off again, planning what she would do, and feeling as rich as before, until becoming a bit tired again, she stopped to rest and gave a look round to see if her treasure was safe. And she saw nothing but a great lump of iron. What? Oh, silly of me. All this while I was thinking that it was silver. 
I must have been dreaming. But this is luck, too. I can sell the iron and get money in return. Then I wouldn't need to hide anything and be about my business. Sure, I will not be able to buy a new house. But I can still build a little fireplace for me and buy a chair. Ah, to sit by the fireplace and have my tea. What a life! And so off she went again, dreaming about what she would do with her money, until becoming a bit tired again. This time, it was not a lump of iron, but a big stone. Goody, goody me, goodness me! I am in luck, the luckiest I would say. All the gold and silver and money would have given me a headache. But this, this is just perfect. I have been wanting a stone to stick open my gate. This solves everything. What luck! And so, all in a hurry to see how the stone would keep the gate open, she trotted off down the hill till she came to her own cottage. And as she turned to unfasten her shawl from the stone, she saw to her surprise that the stone had become bigger. Oh, goodness me! This is just perfect. I can sit on this and have my tea. I don't need a chair. This will do just fine. Ah, finally, I have something to sit on and have my tea. And before she could bend down to touch it, the stone turned into a big lump of cotton. And then from it came out four white legs and two ears and a face. A face that looked like that of a beast with canine teeth protruding over the lips. Its eyes were red and its eyebrows arched. It was the Cotton Beast. <gasps> Gerty, Gerty, my goodness me! Aren't you adorable? I have always wanted a pet. Huh? What? Come on in, little guy. What kind of a person are you? I have tried to lure you with gold, then with silver. Then I changed into a lump of iron, and then a stone. And you were just as happy each time. And now, when I show you my dreaded self, you call me adorable? Well, of course. You are adorable. I can't stay here any longer. Bye! And saying so, the cotton monster turned into a butterfly and flew away. The old woman looked at it and then simply shrugging her shoulders, went back inside her house. And when she entered her house, to her surprise, she saw the lump of stone lying on her floor. What? And then as she watched in wonder, the stone turned into a beautiful wooden chair. Oh, my, this is just perfect. I better make myself some tea. Oh, goodness me, the lump of iron. I will sell it first thing tomorrow. Goody, goody, my goodness me. <laughs> oh, how happy the old woman was. In her happiness, she twirled around and to her surprise, saw the pot of gold. <laughs> the pot of gold, the silver pot, the iron lump, the chair. Oh, goody, goody, me, goodness me. The old woman was ecstatic as she always was. And as you can tell, she did not become greedy. She shared her treasure with her neighbors secretly. And all were happy, especially the old woman, who taught us that it's not about being content. It's about learning how to turn disappointments into opportunities to see things from another perspective. And you will never, ever be sad. <laughs>